Hi there, this is something I was uh, thinking about getting, and so I bought it for myself on a whim. Uh, I got it for myself as a birthday gift. So this is the Honda Beat. And this is a new release by Ausma. This past September, uh, at the Tamiya booth, they had a, a Mazda Roadster, a.k.a. The Miata, in at least North America. I don't know where else in the world it's whatever uh, whatever it might be called, but uh, at least in North America, it's a Mazda Miata. Um, this is a similar car. It's a, it's it's a cute coupe convertible. So as I said, I got this for my birthday, and um, it's passed, and I have not really looked at this yet. So, it says here it's a Honda official licensed product, of course. And it gives you the colors. So if you want to paint it yellow, and you just yellow. Um, looks like it's pretty standard. What, uh, H83? Yeah. Okay, well we'll look at that later. Uh, it probably says so in the instruction manual. Oh, here's the actual uh, specifications for the actual car here, I guess. So I believe it's a four-cylinder car engine. I, I really, I don't know. Um, oh, here it is. It's in, it's in English here. So, the Honda Beat. Under the concept of high-density personal open, the Beat was born as a as a second Honda midship two-seater model after the NSX. As the word high density applies, the compact body is densely packed with components, attracting a lot of people. The, the four-valve 660cc engine is mounted on the body having an overall length of 3.3 meters and an overall width of 1.4 meters. All right, so it is a uh, four valve. All right, so really, um, my extensive knowledge of cars is engine makes car go. I was thinking about just doing a bunch of pictures and posting it on my Tumblr account, and I, and I will do that definitely. But I felt like doing an unboxing video, so let's take a look inside. All right, all right. First thing that is noticeable is the clear parts runner and uh, what is this? It looks like you can build it with the uh, top up perhaps so you have options well that's that, that that's nice okay it would seem you have two different Styles of back, I guess. I don't know. Got this uh, clear stuff here. This must be, uh, you paint this opaque, I suppose. And here's the front windshield. Hmm. Well, now. Ah. Uh, all right, well, we'll have to look at the instructions to understand that, I suppose. All right, what do you got for me, Rick Astley? All right, here's the body. Now, of course, this is a 124 scale model. Got some. Oh, that's okay. Just a little back or whatever. Okay, so you got the little doohickey here. I think those are for the uh, the the window washer spray stuff. So you got this little thing here to cut out. But um, other than that, the seam lines are, I guess, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or not. Or if you're supposed to file that down. Maybe you might want to file that a little bit, I suppose. If you could see that or not, but there's like a little line going down this way. Um, let's look at the front here. 
No, it looks pretty smooth, that's, so I don't know what that's about. Um, okay. A real, really slight panel line here for the, uh, for for the, the hood. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's funny. Okay, so um, you know, in American English, this is called a hood and this is called a trunk, right? But in uh, British English, this is a bonnet and this is a boot. In Japanese, they call this a bonnet and they call this a trunk. So they kind of borrowed from both the. American and British vernaculars, uh, so I, I I always found that uh, kind of amusing, and uh, that is the reason for my uh, sudden brain fart just now. Um, I could see where there's a little, yeah, I can't feel it at all though. There's like a little swirl here. Um, you probably paint it, and you won't even notice it. So yeah, all right, that's pretty self-explanatory. All right now. Uh, when people comment on my channel, people say, uh, well, Japanese models don't really show off much of an engine or whatever. Um, I, I think, I don't know. Um, depends on the model, really. Some models, they, they have the, the engines, some don't. Um, you know, an old nice texture there for the carpet, that's, that's, that's nice. And this is just a two-seater car. So you get the bucket seats that go in here. I like to say bucket. That's a that's a cool word. Um, we've got a little bit of flash in here around the the brakes. We've got the clutch. Yeah, got a little bit of flash here. Huh. That's the only part where I see flash. Flash. Dun 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 dun. Ah. Hey, look at that. You got two different types of uh, steering wheels. This one has like the Honda, and then this is just a regular. I wonder if there's like a like a European version and then a like a Japanese version. I don't suppose I don't know. Um, here's the the steering column with your uh, turn signals and crap. Looks like this is uh, your dials. Got a rear view mirror. It comes with a spoiler, so that that's neat. Um, let's see if there's any sort of guiding pegs here for the spoiler. Hmm, don't see. Uh, I guess you might have to just kind of guess at it, I suppose. I don't know. But it, this, uh, this, this does seem to be a spoiler. All right, now, man, this is cool. Look at this. You can really choose. Check this out. Uh, you got two different styles of hubcaps. That is cool. Really, I mean. That is cool. And what's more is that this is just all white. You know, this is not molded. You know, the, the, sorry, you can't see that. This is not molded in yellow. Um, these are not chrome. You don't have to give this a Coca-Cola soak. Or, um, I don't know what other people use. Uh, easy off oven cleaner, I guess. Or is that for enamel? I don't know. Um, but anyhow, yeah. You just uh, do it yourself. You don't have to bother soaking it to remove the the, the chrome. Now, I I don't want to just um, be too negative on the chrome though, because depending on the model, the chrome parts can be just fine. Um, some some models the the chrome I I think it looks just fine the way it is. Anyhow, um, yeah. All right. So this is where the 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 steering column here goes into here, plugs into here. So you're only going to get uh, right hand side steering. I don't remember seeing these in America, but then again, I haven't been to America in years. So I, I don't know if this is available, that this car is available in Europe. But um, it's really, you know, it got some nice detail. With um, the suspension and such, got nice detail with the muffler here. The here, here we go. So um, yeah, that's nice. This seems to be pretty deep. Oh, that's cool. You can, I don't know if you can see there or not, but 
it says Honda right here on the engine. That's cool. That's pretty darn cool, man. Um, what else? Here are the tires. Let me take my glasses off and take a look here. These are... Bridgestone, it looks like. Yeah, these are Bridgestone tires, which is cool. That's a Japanese company. You got the poly caps here to make them spin. All right. What else we got here? Oh gosh, yes. Oh golly, yes. Oh my gosh. Ermagersh. Ermagersh. Look at that. You got masking stickers for the front and rear glass. Oh, thank you. That is so awesome. That is really nice. So the first car I ever built was the Tamiya Honda Fit. And, um... See, I... Okay. Uh, it's... It's correctly pronounced Honda, but, you know, we Americans, we, we say Honda. Um, okay, just let me talk. Uh, I know there might be some Japanese viewers out there. あの、英語の、英語の、普通の発音は、あ。英語は、え。だから、アメリカ人はいつも、ハンダという、ホンダじゃなくて、ハンダという。<laughs> so anyhow, um, this is great. This is super, super nice. Oh, it feels nice, too. Oh, gosh, that's beautiful. And it looks like it's perforated. I, I could feel it. Yeah, you can see it lifting up here. That's fantastic. All right, now i got this shiny crap. Hey, look at me. Hey, there I am. Oh my gosh, I'm so bald. Ah. Uh, I imagine this is probably for the rear view mirrors and stuff. We got the beat. We got the beat. Sorry, I had to say that. Um, you can do just like uh, the showroom floor Honda beat. Or you got a Shizuoka license plate. Shizuoka's nice. So, you know, I live in Shizuoka Prefecture, and I have to say that... Um, yeah, I've I've lived in the Kansai area. I've lived in uh, Nagano Prefecture, and I have lived in Shizuoka. And I have to say that Shizuoka is probably the easiest place to live in terms of weather. It is really pleasant. Um, when I lived in in uh, uh, the the Kansai area, it was much colder in the winter, and it was much hotter in the summer. Uh, of course, Nagano Ken is going to be really pleasant in the summertime, but it's super freaking cold in the winter, especially where I lived. I, I lived in Saku, which is close to Karuizawa, and it's super freaking cold. You know, that's like ski resort place, you know. Uh, all right, um, enough of that. So here are the decals, which are obviously for this uh, this this beautiful plush um, seats. You see that? So that's obviously what these are. That's really cool. I've never seen decals for seats. Now, uh, let me see here. Let me get something to point with. I'll use my paint stirrer here. All right, so you got these. Um, these here are for like the registration and stuff. You got like the, the shotgun, which is like the, the car inspections. Uh, you have to do it like every two years, even if your car is like almost brand new, you have to do like an inspection, like even if it's only a year old. Uh, it's like a, it's, it, I wouldn't call it a conspiracy theory because it's out there for everybody to see, but it's like some sort of a collusion with the Japanese autom automobile uh, industry and the Japanese government to kind of uh, force people to keep buying new cars. So you're not going to see a lot of older cars. Uh, people who drive classic cars, they have to really pay a lot of money uh, for the car inspections, the safety inspections. Um, I don't really think that they even do that much. And you still have to pay through the nose for that crap. Um, 
the upside to that though is that um, you don't see a lot of like real old crappy cars polluting with like just tons of exhaust coming out. You don't see that a whole lot here. Um, and yeah, it's just I I, I do think it uh, kind of helps safety and such. So um, I, I don't, what's this? I think this is for the dashboard and stuff. These are like the odometer and the speedometer and stuff. This is uh, whatever. So yeah, this 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 thing goes in your your decal. Uh, this this decal is like a sticker that goes in the in your uh, front windshield, and it gives like the the year that you have to um, do your uh, your 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 next um, uh, shock in inspection. This I'm not sure what this is. I don't know. Plus, I'm just getting kind of late at night. Okay, so you got this stuff here. This is like a. Um, they don't have VIN numbers in Japan. They don't have like. Uh, I, I don't think they have the equivalent of that. But this is like um. Like an anti-theft sticker, I guess. This is I don't know what that's about. Um, but here you got the the Honda decals, obviously. So, and you got this this really nice, you know, raised surface here for the Honda uh, emblems. So, there's no mistake, there's no guesswork on where to put it, so that's nice. So, yeah, they do protrude. That's really great. Alright, let me put these away here. It's a fantastic automobile model, I think. Alright, now let's find out what we can about those... Uh, glass parts here. Okay, so you know this is like all blacked out. So apparently um there's different uh um this might be used for a different model of Honda car or something. So you got like this and you don't use this at all, but this you can use this. So um, all right. Let's find out. So you got like a hard top, I, I imagine. And the convertible Oh, no, sorry, not, not not a hard top, but just you know, with the with the top up. Uh, apparently, yeah. There's there's no mounting pad. Uh, there's no mounting pegs. You know the mounting guides, posts, whatever you call them. You just kind of have to uh, put it together, I suppose. Hmm. It says the paint on the back here. Okay, that's interesting. Look at that. PH92 and PH90. What are those? Is it like uh, clear colors? Yeah, clear orange and clear red. Alright, so here's your uh, decal placement. You got the little beat logo. That looks cool. Man, this is really neat. Okay. And so the only... Hmm. You know, I, I have completed my uh, Knight Rider, which is an Alshima car, and I know what you're thinking. Alshima car. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> Will it finish what he begins? Yes, I I do have the DeLorean to complete. Um, I with the 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 flat coat that I tried putting on the body. I uh, I was not happy with it at all, so I'm gonna have to uh, redo the the body color. I just kind of got demotivated, but I will get back to that car, uh, and I will. I promise, I definitely will finish the DeLorean before I start on this model. Whenever I get around to it. But here you got PH57. What color is that? Uh, aircraft gray. This is aircraft gray in here. I wonder what the seats are supposed to be. Um, you gotta use some uh, flat black in there as well. The seats. Yeah, here's the decal. PH22. So that's uh, gray, just gray for the, the seats here. And you got the decal. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so. You got the masking sticker paint this up and I think it just kind of goes into place here and here is your 
uh, your options. Okay, yeah, so there is a hard top. Yeah, that, that's what that is. It's a hard top. And um, the convertible with the convertible top open or down. Isn't that great? Let me get this in frame here, I'm sorry. So right here is the hard top, and there's the convertible. Down or up. That's nice. And you're going to be painting that uh, pH 12, which is gray. I'm sorry, the, the pH color. P is paint. H is B for like a hobby aqueous. Or C, which is hobby Mr. Hobby Color. Or I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Color, which is the lacquer. The H is going to be the acrylic. This is a... Uh, Right there. there. There's your paints right there. So Alshamayo only gives you um, GSI Kratos, Mr. Hobby or Mr. Color paints. Uh, of course, there's nothing to stop you from doing, you know, Tommy or whatever. But, um, for gloss, body, uh, I, I would much rather work with lacquers. So... And of course, Tommy also has... Uh, Actually, I have a spray can of gloss yellow, so I might use that whenever I get around to this. And I, I would probably do a yellow, because it is, it is a really attractive color for a car. I, I had a rental car for a while that was yellow, and huh, it was really easy to spot my car in a parking lot, that was for sure. So, yeah, this is really super neat. Um... Well, I can't promise you when I'll ever get started on this, but this is a really cool looking car. Okay. So, um, anyhow, this has been the Honda Beat. Model. Unboxing. So, thank you for watching. Bye.